Hello, I'm Brian Robin. I'm a music producer here in Kisumu. I'm based in Kisumu. I do urban music. I do traditional music. I fuse almost anything that is uh, good music fused with, uh, you know, the traditional African touch in it. Yeah. So I started music in professionally in 2017. That's 2017, and I started with One Vibe Africa as a music producer. How I handle my music production is, any artist who works with me gets to know how the music business works. Because in the end, you'll just be doing music and then you go back home with nothing, you know. So, so it's like you pay me to produce your music and show you how you can make money with your music. Particularly in Kisumu, it's hard. It's really hard to get people to believe that music is something you can live off, you know. So, uh, making music in Kisumu, first of all, it needs a heart, okay. Uh, if you don't have the heart to, to push through the challenges, it's going to be hard for you because now we, were, we are raised in a certain environment that I think teaches us that the only way you can succeed as a musician is for you to do a hangala, you know. But with the kind of music we have chosen, it requires uh, another you know, set of hard work that most of the young upcoming artists do not have. So for me, it's all about you know, trying to convince somebody that, you know what, if I, if I did it, then you can do it. There's a very huge disconnect, that I would say, because you see, even when you go to the events of the Kisumu best artists, you know, the, the young artists, let me say the urban music, 90% of the, of the audience are our fellow artists. You know, so it's like, who, who are we targeting? We are only targeting our fellow artists. We are leaving a whole, a whole, you know, market out there, which is untapped, which is like the audience. You know. The audience we have as Kisumu best artists is our own Kisumu best artist. So I come to your show so that you can come to my show. You know, fill the seats. That is, I think it's a very huge disconnect and. If you're coming from Kisumu as an artist, my biggest advice would be to think outside the box. It's possible to think outside of Kisumu. You can do it in Kisumu, but it's actually possible to think beyond Kisumu because there's also a market for you out there. You know, Kisumu is saturated with Ohang. If you are if you're targeting the Kisumu audience alone, it's going to be really hard for you especially if you're doing urban music. You can still do it, but just think outside the box. How can you diverse your art? How can you improve your creativity? You know, right now we have, we have the, the protests going on in the US, but there's nothing different with the, what's going on in the US and what's go, what, what has been happening in Kenya. You know, in the US they tell us black lives matter. But you see in Kenya, we, we have tribalism which has always been an issue. So we have Kenyans yelling Black Lives Matter in the US, but down here you see our parents cannot even allow us to marry like from a different tribe, from another tribe. You know, we hate our president because he's coming from a different tribe, you know. These are things we can sing about, you see. So it's not just about, uh, it's not just about, you know, the party music, it's not just about Angela <laughs> music, it's not just about Gangeton music, it's not just about any other thing. You have to diversify, you know. Just think outside the box. How can you include the current situations in your music and still make it sad? First of all, I wouldn't blame I wouldn't blame the let's say the influencers for not putting our music out there, you know. If an artist does not push himself or herself, it is not the work of the influencer to come and look for the artist. You, know, you have to put yourself somewhere on the map so that somewhere can also see you and put you on a bigger map. You know, we we have the we have the resources down here in Kisumu 
you know we have social media is for free we have youtube is for free we're not being charged anything we have to push our content ourselves so that they can see okay these guys are doing amazing job you know at the end of the day you can be an amazing artist but if nobody knows your art if nobody knows what you're doing it still rounds out rounds of disease yeah so before the before we tell the influencers you know what there's something good going on in Kisumu. Let us first put ourselves on the map somewhere. So the, the biggest achievement I think to me has been you know winning the male mentor of the year in 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 Kenya. Yeah, and it's something that didn't even take place in Kisumu. The event was even held in Eldoret. And I just getting that recognition to me is very huge. I have other highlights, highlights in my career, like you know, working with Ben Sol, you know, recording Nazizi in the studio. You know, Ogura Runga is a Grammy-winning, you know, trumpet player, and I work with him. And even back in Kisumu, you know, just working with the CBK music and other amazing artists, is doing their album and. Yeah, I wouldn't take anything for granted because I feel like every artist has something special to offer. So to me, every every single job I do is special. I don't just look at it as, oh, this is a small artist, this is a big artist. The moment an artist approaches me to work with him, to produce him or her, then I know that that is special and that is a special occasion to me in my life. You, know, you can... You can follow me on social media at Brian Robin Music across all platforms, Twitter, you know, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, it's all the same, Brian Robin Music. Or you can get my some of samples of my work at my from my website at www.brianrobin.co.ke.